almost eight o'clock and um, a lot has happened this morning. I think I check out around 11. Now I'm just trying to figure out what I should be doing. I think I'm going to figure out what to wear. Keeping up with everybody's flights at this point because people are either at the airport or have already left and are currently in the air. First of all, first of all, Caesar's Palace. Hold on. So I did like a little, you know, early checkout, whatever. But I, um, or like they can like, you can check out like online or like via text message. But I still wanted to stay in the room until I have to get out of the room, okay? And they have a refrigerator in here, has all this liquor, wine, beer, whatnot. And there's like little to no room to put what you want to put in there. But I was able to fit like a fruit cup and some iced coffee, which I need. And I heard like this sound. I'm like, what is it? So I ain't paying no mind. And so I try to get up, you know, get my fruit. It is locked. They don't lock me out the refrigerator. They said, I will have to check you back in. Your keys are deactivated now. I thought you was leaving the room. I guess that's, I mean, I guess if you're checking. Oh, did y'all hear that? these pineapples they thought <clears throat> they thought they was about to get this coffee but yeah that's still cool though i'm not knocking caesars this place is real nice real nice it's real nice real nice real nice y'all want to see bathroom come on. you know you got your little shower and whatnot your little toilet but it's the tub for me it's the tub i'm gonna just chill out here some of the girls end up, they land around 9.30, 9.45. They coming in. They Situation. Listen, I don't, I don't think they're ready. They I don't nice. think they are ready. This is Ikea. <sighs> nice to meet y'all. <laughs> I'm about to say ready. Now I know you ain't got. Yes. Yeah. What you want? They got it. Oh, they got some Oh, Jack Daniels on the plane. You want Jack Daniels now? Mm -hmm. What else they have? Oh, I'm Bacardi. Crown Royal. Crown Royal. Yeah. 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 Girl, I was so excited. I was knocking on 1638. Cause I know. And she's like, cheers. <laughs> we waiting on the girls. The girlas. They at the airport right now.
Yes, I did. It me up pretty well. Oh, yes, okay. My daughter is a cancer, okay? Uh, July 17th, okay? Okay, I love you, dude. Okay, December baby. You never age, dude. You're always gonna be baby face. This is. <laughs> right. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Oh. Did I say your name, Tikiya, right? Tikiya. Yeah, Tikiya? Yeah. So cute. is our lucky number. Oh. In, in Italy, that is the luckiest number. I was born August 13th, in, uh, uh, Friday the 13th. Oh, wow. So the lucky number for us, Blom. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. terrible and I mean awfully awfully bad review my phone is dead but basically we called an uber and it's three of us you know it said it was gonna carry three of us and we have this bag 
my carry-on, this suitcase, and that suitcase. And he had a Hyundai Elantra with a trunk that was absolutely empty. And he told us that he don't transport black girls. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He said we can't fit in his car. Like, but was being real like rude about it. And then didn't even try. Didn't even try to see if it would fit into his car. And then told us that it's common sense. That was the part that got me though. Cause why are you being like, don't, I want, I'm just trying to be better about my the life. the wrong business, bud. The wrong business. Like you don't be, t you don't tell a customer what's common sense and what's not common sense. First of all, matter of fact, when I get to the Airbnb, I'm gonna pull up his profile and show it to y'all and I'm gonna tag Uber so y'all can see what y'all working with over here in Las Vegas. People that don't have great customer service and act like they can't even try to put our suitcases in your car. So yeah, now we're waiting on another Uber and my phone is dead. 5150. Pound 515. All right. <laughs> Oh my God. 
<laughs> you like having scratchies. <laughs> you got the scratchies to see right now. That's a little yeah. tattoo. Okay, let's take, y'all better put that tattoo on your arm. <laughs> right. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> I do love I like you. Oh, on the back of the card, it says like, <laughs> there's like a hashtag that basically is saying like where we either met Aww. or like yeah. how our relationship Aww. like came out. You said, did you just say my name? This is what I said. This is what I said. I hold on to things like this. Like, I can't yeah. really have a box that I went for. I need to get a check, but. <laughs> Are you crying? Yeah. Stop! Are we cheering the plan? Cheers to the new bride. Cheers to taking a break. Girl, cheers to everything. Cheers to making it through COVID. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. 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 So, Brandon's going first. You pick it, and if you guess correctly, if you guess who the person is correctly, they have to drink. Oh my god. Oh! If you guess it wrong, you have to drink. Well, sorry, if you guess the right person, you have to take a shot. If you guess it incorrectly, you take a sip. Sip? Sip. Sip. Okay. Incorrectly, it's like we keep going until we get that person right. And she said, and she guesses it's me, and it is me. I have to take a shot. But if she guesses it wrong, she has to take a sip. Okay. Where the music go first? Everybody got nervous. Okay. Okay. So. When I'm saying who I think it is, do I read what it is too? Yes. Out loud. Read out loud. Okay. It says, I have kissed a girl, like really kissed a girl. She's looking at you. <laughs> I kissed a girl and I liked it. And it wasn't you. I wouldn't have guessed that. You know I have. Shot or sip? Because I'm an ass. Take a shot. Why do you take a shot? We need you to be lit. I'm going to get lit. Like, you're going to toast to the camera. Okay, I'm going to toast to the camera. Your turn.